Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to take a look at and show you how to install Monka Phoenix Gyro XP on your Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 400. Monka Phoenix Gyro XP is another great 64-bit Manjaro build from Monka that is made to look just like Windows XP. It also has excellent video playback in the Chromium and Firefox browser in both 720 and even 1080p with barely any frame skipping. In addition to that, you can also play DRM content such as Netflix and Hulu, and the RAM consumption is apparently quite low as well. As you can see, the OS looks and feels just like Windows XP, and is also pretty smooth. To install the OS, simply click on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the Monka Phoenix Jaro XP website. Here, scroll down to downloads and select the version you want to install. I'm going to go for the first one over here. Then select the 4GB file at the very top and should start downloading. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher, by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, simply open up the flasher and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you're going to be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 64GB one. And click on Flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the microSD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. As you can see, the Pi has successfully booted up and you can now sign in. The username is Pi and the password is Phoenix Monka. The cool thing about this OS, apart from its look, is that it has a lot of truly amazing apps installed, like the Tor Browser, Telegram Desktop, Putty, Discord, a lot of emulators like Dolphin, DOSBox, and even Wired for Windows programs. Gparted is also pre-installed, which of course is always nice. The first thing I'm going to do is change the password by opening up the terminal and typing sudo passwd. Then type the current password, which is Phoenix Monka, enter your new one, and confirm it. Overall, the OS seems to be running pretty stably. However, I would highly recommend you overclock your Pi to get as much power out of it and to make it run a decent bit smoother. To overclock it, open up the terminal and type sudo nano slash boot slash config dot txt and enter your password. Then scroll down to the overclocking section and untick over voltage 8 and arm frequency 2147 as well as GPU frequency 750 to really get that power out of your Pi. You can obviously change your values however you like, just make sure to have proper cooling while doing so. After that press Ctrl O, hit enter and Ctrl X. Finally reboot your Pi by typing sudo reboot. Now your Pi should be running Phoenix Monka Jaro XP at an overclocked state. But other than that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.